Now let's create a few options for you defenders. You're just as likely to end up the poor schmuck with the rook as you are to end up the happy soul with the queen, and it pays to know how to defend. If you reach this position as the defender and your opponent gleefully slaps down queen to d6, you can be reasonably sure that your opponent has studied this endgame. Almost certainly they've studied it by playing against computers, which will always play king g4 here. There is another option, which has some features of its own. King h3. Now this is two moves quicker to mate, but it does give the opponent some chances to go wrong, and your opponent is likely not to have studied it very much. So, here's a good way for white to go wrong. We're just back in a third rank defense. We made no progress. Here's another way for white to go wrong. We're back in a third rank defense. White has made no progress. The best move for the attacker is to go here. Attack the hanging rook, a general rule. As you can see from the arrows, the queen is actually controlling five squares on the F line, three of them directly and two by the pin or fork from E6 on the white lines. And the king can control the other squares theoretically, but the king is also going to get in the way of his own queen. Watch what happens. That is the right defense. Take advantage of the last remaining square. And if we have a check here, walk forward into opposition. We have a check here. White's really not making much progress. And if we get a check there, we're back in a third rank defense. From this position, the right move for the attacker is not obvious. It's to set up a discovered check, very much like what we saw when we were dealing with harassment defenses. And now we get into enormous complexities for the attacker. This is the most confusing thing to do to an attacker. Hold down that third line to the bitter end because the right move for attack is here. Don't give the discovered check yet. In fact, any discovered check loses eight moves. So you go here, keep holding down that line to the bitter end, and now it's time to give the discovered check. Black, white has a couple of good squares for giving forks from. So we go there, we go there, and there. And that's the end of the ball game. From here, you could just as easily play here check, and the next check will be here. Either way. But notice that that's a very unfamiliar procedure for the attacker, and there's good chances you're going to be able to walk out of this with your skin intact. Much less good here is giving a check there. We're just back to a third rank defense, folks. So remember that trick. That when your attacker gives you the killing move, just move your king to the side and see if they can figure out to play this, and then this, and then go there and see if they know to not give the discovered check. Let's take a look at what happens with a discovered check. Take the opposition. We get a check like that. We get a check like that. And we get a check here. This is very much like what happens in the main line, but notice that black is farther from the corner of the board. That means that white has quite a bit farther to go, and there's an extra option for black to escape by sneaking out this way. Finally, 
Why does it matter that the White Queen is taking away this central square? Well, let's take a look. As it is, we want to move to a square of the opposite color from what the attacking king is on. We take up the killing position here. He tries to corner the rook. Now, if the queen lets go of that central square, notice that the queen is again controlling five squares on the F line, three directly and two by fork, and the king is controlling the other three squares. So the rook has no safe square to go to. Unfortunately, the defending king can simply go there. That's why the queen has to hang on to one of these two central squares. Otherwise, when the queen is controlling these five and the king is controlling those three, the defending king simply alternates between these two squares and again no progress can be made.